All right, all right, all right. So, welcome to Hammer Down Motorsports. I hope you guys are having an amazing day today out in the shop because it is super rainy and just dreary and Pennsylvania has now come back to the winter gloom that we're pretty much accustomed to. But today we're gonna to be doing something, just kind of a little conversation thing about our Super Duty over here. So as you can see, we do have, yeah, Bay 2 is just kind of the clutter for winter time. If you guys are not sampling your diesel, it might be a good idea to do it just to be sure. It's a good insurance policy to make sure there's no water in it. I try to take a sample about once a month, maybe every oil change at least, just to make sure that water separator is getting cleaned out and you have good, nice, clean diesel in your truck, especially with a CP4, which there's some stuff happening with, but we're going to talk about that in another video. Anyways, today with our Super Duty, this is my 2022, had it a little over a year, and these are just kind of the things that I've done to it. I made a video on all the mods if you guys want to see the rundown of everything I've done to this truck. But in today's video, we're going to talk about five things I would never do to my truck build. And not to say that it isn't other people's style. This is a expression of yourself, and there's certain things that people like, and that's that's car culture. That is just the way it is. If you look at your vehicle and you see the thing that you did to your truck and you're like, I like that. That gives me a thumbs up inside every time I look at it. Hey, if this is something that's on this list and you did it to your truck, that's totally fine. It's your build. You do what you want. These are just five things that me personally, in my opinion, I would not do. Number one is debadging. The one thing I've never done to my trucks and I've actually gone and I bought trucks that had been debadged and went and bought the badges again. But I don't like when they remove the diesel, the 6.7 power stroke badge. I think this looks really good on the truck. And I don't like when they remove this. And I've, people in the comments have said, you need to remove this, it looks funny. I like it, it shows it's an FX4. It's just, I don't know, it's something that I've always liked about this truck. So it has a little off-road badge on the side. It just kind of completes the bed. And then I also like this on the back as well. And some people color code these or paint them black or whatever. I really do like the way that it's kind of the, the platinum little bit of, it's not brushed, it's like a, a satin kind of finish. I really like the way that comes from the factory. They did that right. You don't have to change everything that they did from the factory to make it your own. But my first thing on my list would be just taking all the badges off or just changing all the badges just because that's what it came with. Number two would be just color matching absolutely everything. And I mean, yes, I, I understand there is chrome. Some people think this is Paw Paw and whatever, you know, chrome is for grandpa's truck. And you know, you bought the fancy truck, you had the money to do it, but now you're gonna make it look a little more sporty. You wanna get some of this chrome gone and you wanna make it all color coordinated with your body color or your accent color, which is fine. And it looks good on a lot of trucks, but I've seen in the custom market almost Every truck is color matched like crazy. Like they color match out the satin on the front grille. They color match out all of the chrome in the headlights. They color match all the black in the bumper and the snowplow. I can agree with that one. I, I might do that on mine as well. The snowplow looks really good in white, just kind of extends that bumper line a little bit, but just too much. I mean, they, they get rid of the chrome hooks. They get rid of the chrome on the mirrors. They get rid of the chrome on the side vents. They get rid of the chrome on the door handles and just mute out all of that. And I mean, hey, if that's that's your style, that's what you like, more power to you. For me, I like a little bit of variety in the color scheme. And I think with the white, the chrome, the satin, the blue, all that really just brings a truck together for me. And I think just too much color matching can go a little bit too far. Number three is gonna be crazy offsets on your wheels. Now, you can see I do have a bit of poke here. These wheels are the TIS, these are the 554BMs, and they are a 20 inch with a negative 18 offset, which is the mildest wheel you can get in this wheel as far as offset and size and all that kind of stuff. So it gives you that stance. It gives that these trucks do need some stance. They're way too narrow from the factory. The, in, the factory wheels stick inside way too much. And these really give it a little bit of girth, give it a little bit of stance. And with the mud terrains, it definitely looks really good. And I just, for me, having a tire that sticks out like way out to here, like a negative 72 or whatever like that, for me personally is not the look I'm going for on this truck. 
or in any of my builds, I kind of like to have that little bit of extra, but not going crazy. I don't want to have, you know, a tire that sticks way out to here. It's really hard on bearings. It's really hard on your front end components and also turning as well. You're going to have to have some lift or you're not going to be able to turn all the way because it's going to rub. I noticed that with this one as well. I'm at the maximum right now with these tires and the mud flaps. If I turn it all the way at a certain angle, I will just barely kiss the mud flap. But I mean, a lot of people don't run mud flaps and maybe I'm not speaking to the right people and some people really, really like that crazy stance. But for me, a little bit of stance, good. Way too much stance. More of a show truck thing, not a daily driving kind of deal. Now, my number four thing would be what I like to refer to as accessory catalog barf or just going to eBay and buying everything for your truck and sticking it to it. A lot of this stuff is just 3M tape stuff. I mean, guys get the bug guards, guys get the caps for the mirrors if they don't have them. They get the chrome for in here. They get the chrome for their gas cap. They just, you know, everything that is made for their truck, they put on it without really, I mean, maybe they put thought into it. Maybe they like that look, but for me, just overdoing your truck. Basically, if you have crazy taillights that are, you know, cheap ones and you can tell they're cheap and they're bad LEDs or getting rid of the factory headlights and putting in ones that are low quality and just kind of look funny, kind of look like a transformer's eye, in my opinion. And some of them have like a million little lights and all of them are dim and half the LEDs don't work after a month, stuff like that. Like taking decent, quality stuff from the factory and then downgrading it to some aftermarket just because it's aftermarket and you think it's custom. Another thing too is grills. Like guys will take the factory grill off and they'll put one of those, you know, different, it, it just changes the lines of the truck like a different pattern or whatever. And it just doesn't look good. I mean, it can make or break your vehicle. This is the face of it. It looked good from the factory and you can do things to make it look better. But when guys just go crazy and they put every cheap, Thing they find on eBay or Amazon on their truck is just too much. And I mean, that's my fourth thing is just untasteful mods, I would say. Now for number five, we're gonna talk about performance and some things that maybe people think are performance that maybe aren't. If you're gonna put performance parts on your truck, make sure they're better than what is there from the factory. Cause honestly, I mean, the factory made this truck to run on all the things that it came with for a very long time, but if you're gonna go online and just get a whole pile of stuff, whatever it is made for your truck, that's not maybe quality stuff. It's maybe stuff that wasn't tested properly. I mean, there's a million cold air intakes on the market. Go to a company that has a reputation. Get one that is quality. Don't get junk and put it on your truck just because it's different than what the factory put on. Doesn't mean it's better. There's so many cold air intakes out there that aren't that good. There's tuners out there that aren't that good. There's a whole lot of stuff. Do your research on performance. If you're gonna go that route, make sure you're putting good stuff in that's gonna make your truck safe. It's gonna make it run for a long time and give you more power without sacrificing quality. If you're going, just leave it stock if you don't wanna spend the money. I mean, honestly, that's what I can tell anybody. It's gonna save you money in the future. But if you wanna go that route, save up your money and get good stuff. Don't get junk. And also, I mean, this is maybe a sideline for this one. Guys that do bed stacks on their trucks, I mean, if that's your thing, cool. But I mean, for me, I would never do that. It's just drilling a hole in your bed. It's leaving that and I don't know. I don't think, this isn't a semi truck. This is a pickup truck. I don't really care for the bed stack. That's just another thing for me. That's probably one of those performance mods that really doesn't do anything for you performance wise other than give you a way to make a big cloud of black smoke out the top. I mean, if it's a race truck, you got a hood stack or whatever, I mean, hey, that's that's your thing. For me, it's nothing that you're ever gonna see on this truck and that's kind of the things that are on this list are just things that maybe I see, maybe things that you should think about before modding your truck and that's kind of the purpose of this video. So there it is, everybody. This is my truck build so far and that's my list of things that maybe I would never do or maybe I think are maybe overdone by some people. Drop in the comments. Maybe there's something you don't like about my truck. Maybe there's something that maybe I forgot and you would add to this list. Definitely drop that in the comment section below. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, keep that hammer down.